Hey guys, happy Vado Day 7. It's October 7th, vlog every day in October. And as you guys may or may not know, I have shark bait. And look at me, you can tell I'm so drained. I'm in pain. I've got no color left in my face. I've got a pimple. I feel awful, but I have to go somewhere. Um, I have to go. I can't bail. And so I think the best thing that I can do is at least try to use the magic of makeup to kind of make myself feel better um, and that and take copious amounts of Advil <laughs> which seems to be the only thing that works for me so I'm not usually one of those people that does um, you know makeup videos although some of you have asked me to too and I think that's very flattering but it's not really my thing most everything I've learned about makeup I've learned on YouTube I also don't have any siblings I don't have a sister um, so I've never really gotten ready with anybody we can chat while I do my stuff and I hope that you guys um, are having a great day. Happy football. Um, I did use, I'm down to almost my last bit of my sample from Jolique. This was something I got in my birch box uh, a couple months back and I've been using it sparingly. I finally earned enough um, review points so that I'm gonna buy the full size of this because I absolutely love it and being in the desert um, this just makes my skin feel so nice and it's not greasy and it soaks right in and it's called Jolique. So check it out. Um, so really, I just, um, yesterday my walk was amazing. I had such a great time on my walk. Um, this is that uh, Garnier um, under eye anti dark circle roller. And I use it as like a highlighter because my skin is dull sometimes. I usually buff it in with um, a brush, but I just kind of, this is weird because um, I normally use a mirror and I'm using my camera. <laughs> so anyway, my walk yesterday was awesome. I, um, I really enjoyed walking down to dinner last night. That was really fun. So thanks, thanks uh, Jennifer for encouraging me to get back into couch to 5k or ease into 5k because Honestly, um, I've done it. I've done the program. I would do it at the gym on the elliptical. Um, and that's different. The elliptical is, you know, it's not real walking. It's, um, it's a little different than uh, just, you know, walking, regular walking. Um, but I really like the elliptical a lot. And if I owned a piece of exercise equipment, I would probably own an elliptical machine. Um, in case you guys are wondering, I'm using something I got in my Buzz Agent kit, believe it or not, that I buzzed about. Um, the campaign's over, but they gave me a full size of this to try out. It's the CoverGirl and Olay combination. Um, my color is Soft Honey, and they gave me a full size powder. Stuff is nice. It's really, really nice. So check it out if you uh, have been on the fence about trying it. But um, the coverage is nice. It's smooth. And... Uh, it goes on really evenly and it's right about my color. Maybe a little bit darker, but I like it. I, um, I've done Couch to 5K a few times before on the elliptical and, you know, it was good. It was a lot of fun, really. Because it was on the elliptical, I never really ran. But I would, you know, go really fast on the elliptical during the run part. Um, and now that I'm walking and uphill and on pavement and stuff, um, it's a little bit a little bit harder for me um, so the first two days that I've done this now um, it's kind of been it's kind of been a little rough I'm thinking I'm gonna end up doing redoing some of the days a few times um, it may take a few tries to get through the whole thing let's make sure I don't look scary because I'm only using my <laughs> camera don't you hate when you have shark bait and you feel like you just don't look like yourself I hate when I get that weird, can't recognize myself in the mirror. I don't think anything's gonna cover that all the way. Ugh, that sucks. If I have a blemish on my face, and I wear a, uh, like around my mouth, and I wear a dark lipstick, the emphasis goes to my mouth and not to my pimple. But if I wear like a nude, or a, just a light, really light lipstick or lip gloss, then it seems like there's more emphasis 
on like it brings out the red in this because this is the reddest thing on my face when my lips are the reddest thing on my face then my lips stand out so I'll probably be wearing a red lipstick today or darker let's do my eyes since I looked pretty much dead to the world <laughs> um, do you guys love primer potions and uh, eye primers I got this little sample of um, Urban Decay Primer Potion and something. I have the full size too, and I've got tubes of it. Um, stuff comes in so handy, and it seems to work on me really well. My eyes water a lot. I don't know if that's like an age thing, like I'm getting old, or what. All right, so when I'm trying to get ready fast, I love um, these Maybelline color tattoos. This one's in asphalt, and it's a matte color, and I find that as I'm getting older, as I'm aging, I can't really do as many shimmery eyeshadows as I used to um, as a youth. Although I'm an Urban Decay junkie, I love Urban Decay, Decay, but they have a lot of shimmery stuff. This one is like a cream shadow. I kind of need a real mirror for this. I like the equivalent of like a MAC paint pot where you can basically do a wash all over your lid with it. And they don't budge all day long and they just kind of give you a nice base. And then I usually put some shadows over it, but at least it gives me some definition. Um, it's exactly the color of wet cement. Neat matte is uh, the Balm's matte shades. And I just love matte, I love matte uh, eyeshadows. They are just, they're just so flattering. They're so much more flattering than uh, shimmery ones right now. But they have one called Matte Patel, which is this color right here. And it's almost exactly the same color as that asphalt color. So I'm just going to put that on a little bit over top just to kind of cover it down a little bit. I'm using an Eco Tools brush. I love this paddle brush. Super fast. Seriously, if I wasn't talking to you guys, I'd probably be done already. Nick's probably outside pacing for me. He's like, Leo, we got to go. I'm like, I know, but I got to do my Veda and I got to get my video up. I like plums too because it brings out um, my brown eyes. I always find that purple looks really good on uh, brown eyes. It's just casual. I don't have to look like a beauty queen. I just have to look fresh, right? I just want to look a little bit put together. My little pencil brush. This is a MAC 219 brush. I'm kind of anti-MAC. I have a couple other things, but I don't really... I think that they're... Uh, way, way overrated for what they are. Using the Milani Eye Tech marker, um, I kind of like this when I'm really going fast. It's, uh, where's the thing? Um, it's a felt tip, and it's pretty pointy, so you've got control over it, and I like to do like a little wing. So we'll just wing it up a little bit. It takes a lot of practice, and it takes finding the right formula that works for you. You can watch a million tutorials, but until you try it yourself and sit there and practice, you know, you can watch it all day long, but you gotta try it out then. Can you see that? That didn't take too long. There we go. I have to tell you about mascara. I love the Maybelline Plush and Colossal and Falsies. Those are my favorite mascaras, but the wand for the plush I don't like. I like the formula of the mascara, but I don't like the wand. And I'm a waterproof mascara only girl because my eyes water. The yellow one, the Colossal Wand, from the yellow tube, because it's a stiffer wand, and I put it, it fits in the plush one. So the last Colossal one that I had that ran out, sterilized the wand and bought myself a new tube of the plush, and now I use the Colossal Wand in the plush formula. So, um, I love, I love these drugstore ones. The Falsies one is good too. The Falsies one is kind of like a scoop. It's almost like a spoon. And they really give you good lashes. So who's your favorite team? I think, I think I'm gonna go with the Ravens because for totally, um, because Edgar Allan Poe is from Baltimore, and that's the Ravens are uh, named after him for uh, Quoth the Raven Nevermore. So there's a literary reason, which kind of makes me feel intellectual, 
and their colors are purple and silver. <laughs> you know, sometimes you need that little extra boost of confidence and maybe it's a piece of clothing that you wear or maybe it's a certain perfume that you wear. Whatever it is that you need, I say go for it. What harm does it do? My eyebrows, even though they're shaped pretty well, they, um, they're, li they're a little sparse right now. I do use, I've used a million different brow products and um, I always come back to the e.l.f. one. Eyes, lips, face. This is a shout out to you, Emily. Um, I always have used their brow gel. I don't like the powder so much, but I love the gel. It's like matches my eyebrows perfectly. So I'm just gonna fill these in a little bit. I don't know if you can see already. They just look like they're all in. They don't look like there's gaps in there. You know? things we go through. Ready? See the difference? No. Your eyebrows sort of disappear in pictures if they're not full. Can you tell the difference? I can tell the difference. And then usually I just take a little, just like a little brush and just... Absolute all-time favorite bronzer of all time, all time, is Hula by Benefit. It comes, it's a powder, it's in a box. Uh, comes with this little brush, which sometimes I use to contour, but it's usually just worthless. But I'm like, at pan. I love the stuff. I've used it for years and years and years. It's not cheap. I will tell you that. It is not cheap. But here's the thing. It lasts forever. I think I've had this box for like three years now. Something like that. So, um, just want to put some life into my face. So, I'm just going to contour a little bit. My new favorite blush right now is also a Wet n Wild product, and it is a matte blush, and it's called Mellow Wine, and it is like a rosy pink. Now watch. Remember I said that uh, when you have a blemish used cover up on there, it's still kind of screaming at the camera. Um, so if I use a darker lipstick, then my blemishes usually don't stand out as badly. So, let's see if that proves correct. Ready? Cannot forget the trick. To keep the lipstick off your teeth, and all that extra lipstick is on your finger, so it's not on your teeth. Um, so that's it guys, I got a motor. It's time for me to go throw some clothes on and get out of here. So I hope you have a great day. Happy Vado, and thanks for getting ready with me. <laughs> hope you didn't mind. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye.